£1,000 is not very much to buy a car with. In fact, if you think of a car for £1,000, you'll probably think of a really high mileage, absolute junker that's really on its last legs and shouldn't be on the road. But don't worry, today I've got eight cars which are sporty and can be had for less than a grand. Since 1998, the Audi TT has been a design icon. It has been a fashion accessory for young, fashionable people. And this car is extremely cheap. In fact, I've covered the Audi TT multiple times in a few buyer's guides, and this one is definitely the cheapest. The Mark I started it all, and this is a brilliant option. You get Quattro all-wheel drive, and you get a turbocharged 180 horsepower in line four, making it one of the most powerful cars on the list. And luckily, you can get MOT'd examples for less than a grand. Four-cylinder BMWs are often looked down upon, and, well, this is no exception. The 318CI is actually quite a good car because the four-cylinder engine up front is light, which means this car handles extremely well, which makes it perfect for a cheap track car or autocross car. So, you can now turn up to the circuit with something a little bit different, and still smoke the competition. So buy this convertible and get racing. This generation of the Golf GCI is among the least loved. But the thing is, it's a really great platform and it's available with the fabled 18T engine, which is insanely tunable and means you can really customize this car. And the cool thing is these Golfs are extremely reliable. My grandpa's got one and it's got 300,000 miles on the clock and still runs really well. In fact, it, so it doesn't matter if you buy a high mileage version, like this one, with 200,000 miles barely broken in. Now, if you look for a really cheap sports car, obviously, the first place you need to look is the MX-5. It's reliable, handles well, and if mod is, obviously, it can be very fast and for a grand you can find the 1.6 and potentially even the 1.8. Sure, it's not going to be mint, but this thing will last forever just if you leave it alone, obviously. Just don't use it as a daily. But still, this thing will make a perfect track car. If you want something larger than the Celica, is perfect. It's got a big boot and four seats, so this is a really usable daily. And it's a hatchback, so you can put your dogs in it. I mean, sure the engine suffers from excessive oil consumption, but that's just an excuse to make you maintain your car a bit more. So, what do you think of this? I think I really prefer this over an MX-5. It's just way faster, it still handles well, and it's still got a huge aftermarket, and you've got plenty of time to prepare it for Japfest. In fact, here is one you can pick up for 850 quid. With summer around the corner, this car might just be perfect for your motorway cruising needs. This Mercedes SLK is great for top-down motoring and is very cheap, and it should be considering how much it costs to maintain. But don't let that bother you when you're driving around the country lanes with a three-pointer star in front of you. This car is brilliant and it makes supercharger noises. So snag this example for just 625 British pounds. Yeah, at this point I was getting a little bit desperate, but I'm amazed you get one of these for less than a grand. I mean, sure, it's an Alfa, for Le Alfa Romeo for less than a thousand pounds, but still, that engine was used in loads of Alphas, so finding parts for it shouldn't be too much of an issue, and you get a cool sports car to drive around in. Well, I say drive will probably sit on your driveway, but still, here is one for £875. And last but not least, we have the Mini Cooper. This is the first time I've included it, and it's, well, a remarkable little thing. Great go-kart handling, and a bargain performance vehicle. 
But the thing is, it's a bit of a risky buy. It's known for oil leaks and head gasket failure, and well, it being built by BMW, it's a bit expensive, but I should say my sister likes it. And this one is less than a grand. So there you go, buying cars for less than a grand. Turns out you've got some pretty good options. Now, if you want my pick, I would say the Celica. It's a good, safe choice because it's Japanese and reliable and practical. So it won't really go wrong. There's not too much to worry about. And you should be getting a good car for the money. So what did you think of this video? Would you buy any of these cars? Do you own any of these cars? If you do, please comment below. Please like and subscribe and follow for more.